Hello, I'm Red Moon. And I'm Blue Moon. And, and this is a compromise. Okay, okay. You probably heard this sentence a thousand times before. Bring back the old OPS! You probably saw a thousand calling Hasbro videos as well. It's just like a giant topic that everybody just wants the old OPS back. Like everyone's clinging on for dear life. Like go. they're not Scar and they're not letting it go. They were actually holding on to Simba's dad on that Pride Rock Mountain. They're just like, no. Including us, because we still make OPS videos with old OPS, so we're not trying to be hypocrites or anything. We found while watching these videos, most people can't really think of like a reason why they like the old OPS. So this video contains pros and cons of Hasbro bringing back the old OPS, dislikes of why people may dislike the new OPS, and finally a compromise as to what Hasbro can do to please both sides. So let's get on with the list we made in preparation for this nostalgic video. Ready? One, One two, two, three! three. So the first pro we're going to talk about is Hasbro bringing back the old LPS. The first pro on this pro list is they could mark up prices. Because so many people spend like $40 on a single LPS, I don't think they'd mind spending a little bit more on a pack of LPS if they're a bit more expensive. If they're the old LPS, most people would literally pay anything if they could just walk into a store and buy it. They could make so much money. I hate to break it to you, but Hasbro is a company and they just want to make money. So they can mark up the prices of old LPS if they're afraid that they're going to lose money. There are plenty of people willing to buy them. Like we said, people literally hunt down LPS on eBay and mark up the prices so much because, you know, people actually want them. Old LPS sell for $30 to $100 for just one single LPS. Like this website, Toy Wiz, they sell old LPS but they're $30 for like one package. That's kind of reasonable for old LPS which is sad because they normally sell for like $5. Also, I don't really recommend buying from them because we tried buying old OPS from them and they just did never arrive. Not recommended, but you can sure try. They already have a fan base for their old OPS, so it's not like they're introducing something totally new and it's like a test where people like it. It's like they already know people like it and there are fans willing to support their decision. I went on their Instagram and literally almost all the comments are, bring back the old OPS. Hey Hasbro, 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 bring back the old OPS. Yes. <laughs> please, please. That's annoying for people who want the old OPS back and it's annoying for people who actually like the new OPS. Because, because just are always bombarded with these unhappy customers all the time and Hasbro never really gives feedback to anyone they kind of just change whatever they want without saying anything which is just annoying to both sides so Hasbro should have more customer feedback I noticed when people call Hasbro they kind of have the same like response and setup like what don't you like about the new LPS and like oh we'll definitely tell our design team about it you know definitely we definitely will <laughs> yeah probably never do they also switched the LPS before it's not like this is a totally new thing they're trying out they made old LPS before and then discontinued the line. Do you remember these LPS right here? See, they did this before and we know they were popular because they sold out literally everywhere. We would go to Walmart and we can never find them. These are the only ones we could ever get and I can never find that cat because, you know, LPS short haired cats are really popular and they brought one back and like I can never find it and now it's really expensive. You see, it's popular, like they sold out. And okay, on to the cons. There could be reasons Bad, why yeah. Hasbro isn't bringing them back. My head is screaming, get a grip, girl. Unless you're dying to cry your heart out. Since Hasbro is a company, they want to make money, and the plastic to make old LPS definitely costs a lot more. Have you noticed that when they make new LPS, it's out of this weird, like, cheap rubber? Because it costs less. As companies do this all the time, they go cheaper to make more money. Just take this new LPS, for example. Do you see how weirdly shiny its skin is? I can't really explain it. It's like you have to feel it to know what we're talking about. It's just kind of weird. When they first came out, they're really squishy. Like, you can squish their heads in. They've been updating them slowly. It may take time to make new old LPS. They'd have to recover the old mold take all that time making like millions of the new slash old ones it would just take a lot of time so that's one of the reasons they may not be fully willing to do it they already established the new LPS in their brand so it might be hard to just introduce these like weird looking like different LPS to their new fans because you have to remember that there are people who like the new LPS or else they wouldn't be making them so you can't totally rip the new LPS away from the new fans that like them that's really all for the cons but we have a compromise to kind of like win both sides here this is won't play, I won't say I'm in love. 
think Hasbro should take a look at Mattel because they have a Barbie line, right? Everybody knows Barbie. She's like this classic original blonde haired blue eyed girl. But they still have a fashion line called Fashionistas where they have different body shapes and different like ethnic looking dolls and different molds. They look different from the original like Barbie with the blonde hair and blue eyes. So they sell both kinds at the same time. They even have a line that kind of goes back to the really old 80s dolls and remakes them for collectors who want the old ones again. So it's like they compromise and they make all their fans happy. If they keep making the new OPS look like the old OPS, no one's really gonna be happy because the new OPS are never going to fully be the old OPS, so old OPS fans won't be happy. And the new OPS fans won't be happy because they look like the old OPS. This is a better compromise to kind of try selling both of them at once. And we have noticed that on their Instagram they have been changing the new OPS to look more realistic. I have to admit they are kind of cute, but a lot of people just want the old OPS because the fact of the matter is people just want the nostalgic feeling that old OPS bring. We found when watching these videos, people can't really put their finger on what they don't like about the new OPS. So here's a list in which I think since people may not like the new OPS, they are rubbery. We already mentioned that. Second, some of the new ones, their heads pop off, which is kind of creepy and unnecessary. And they have super tiny accessories. It's like so tiny. And we have a bunch of tiny OPS accessories and they're like so tiny. I can imagine kids could choke on them and they get lost very easily. The OPS also have holes in them. You see how the little frog had an ice cream in his hand. Well, if you take the ice cream out of his hand, he has a random hole, which is kind of weird. Whoa, dude, what happened to your hand that looks pretty painful? You know, it's just, it's just kind of awkward. If you have an OPS that has a lot of holes in them, it's kind of weird because if you don't put all the accessories on them, they just kind of have weird holes in them. Like, she has a hole in her chest and her arm and like on her head. It's just kind of odd. I know they changed this, but with the new OPS, it was kind of strange. The final rule that I think most people are missing is that the new OPS have too much of an expression. They're kind of turning into figures instead of things you can play with. My OPS right here, it's smiling, but it's not leaning toward really happy or really sad. It's not like this OPS where it's like really sad. It's not like this OPS where it wants to play. I think the in-between emotion is the best. Old OPS collectors used to think it's a bit of a stretch to have like an emotion on an OPS that has their tongue sticking out. Yeah, like this tongue sticking out is kind of weird for some people. Like it's not really a big deal, but for some people who want to play with them or make videos, it's kind of like awkward. They're kind of turning them into things you put on a shelf, like an action figure in some kind of pose instead of a base for kids to play with. That's all we wanted to say for this video. They should sell both of them at once. We would contact Hasbro, but we're kind of really socially <laughs> yeah, awkward. Yeah, social anxiety, really. So if you want to call Hasbro, I'm sure there's plenty of LPS tubers who did call Hasbro and have their phone numbers in the description, or you can just look up online Hasbro's phone number, because I'm pretty sure they have it. You can kind of use this list as like a guide to try like getting your concerns across. We made this video so formal because we wanted to get our point across. This is a problem that we've been seeing going on for like so many years. So we just wanted to like, throw it out there to people who call Hasbro and to Hasbro themselves if this ever gets to Hasbro, which probably most likely will definitely not. <laughs> It'd be nice for Hasbro to listen or even communicate. If they can say no, we're never going to, that would be great. Like my feelings would be slightly damaged, but you know. At least they would give us an answer instead of kind of torturing people along the ride. We're just giving business ideas and we hope Hasbro listens. Contact Hasbro if you want. Don't bombard, bombard them. them. And don't yell at them either because they're not going to listen to you yelling at them. You have to come civilized and in business format. The new OPS are getting kind of cuter, but like we said before, it's not going to fix the problem. Like, I saw this OPS bow. It looks really cute. Like, if they can make that for old OPS, that'd be great. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, <laughs> comment, hashtag, let's compromise Hasbro 2017. <laughs> yeah. So, comment that, comment your opinions, and tell us any news and updates you find. But we'll keep you updated, and you keep us updated. It's like a fair trade. Off. Uh, random dance party. Woo! Oh, at least I'll, at least I'll lie what I won't say I mean. Shalalalala. Ah.